we have some news for the Vikings regarding the quarterback position. Now, Kirk Cousins is a great quarterback, and he is entering his sixth year for the Vikings and has been successful stat-wise throughout his whole career. And now what I mean by this is he's put up great numbers every single year of his career, but one of his biggest cr- critiques is that he cannot get anything done and he cannot win big games in the playoffs or during the regular season, including primetime games. Like, I mean, it got blown out of proportion this year when he lost to the Eagles. And yes, it was his fault for throwing a couple of picks, but it wasn't just his fault. But it it went away. The stereotype went away after they went eight and one, and then or yeah, eight and one. But then they lost the Cowboys again, and then that stereotype got brought back up again, and then it went away for a while. Then it got brought back up in the Packers game, and then went away again, and then they lost the Giants in the playoffs, and that just further solidified it. Now Cousins. As a matter of fact, is he's a top 10 quarterback in the NFL, and he's not even a top 10 paid quarterback in the NFL. And he's a great quarterback, but he can never win the games that truly matter the most in the playoffs. And I love Kirk, but sadly, this is the end of Kirk's tenure with the Minnesota Vikings, as Kirk Cousins offered to take a, a discount on his salary cap contract in exchange for an extension, but the Minnesota Vikings turned it down because they are intrigued or interested in getting a a player on on a rookie deal for the quarterback position. So essentially, um, we're probably drafting a quarterback in the next two years. Now, the thing is, I don't know if we're going to be playing the last year of Kirk Steele or drafting quarterback this year and making a big move draft day, moving up a little bit, drafting quarterback and having him learn behind Kirk. But I don't think that's going to be the case. I may, If that's going to be the case, I think it's going to be Will Levis. Um... Other quarterbacks are going top five, and I don't think it will be. It will be will. It won't. It won't be anybody else besides Will Levis. So if we're gonna get a quarterback in this year's draft, it's Will Levis, and I think he's behind Kirk for your mentor. And I did make a video about this in the past, so go check that out. Now this news kind of tells us that this is Kirk Cousins' last year in Minnesota as a Minnesota Viking, most likely. Now it might that might not be the. That might not be it, but it's probably going to be what's going to happen and now i recently made a video about will leave this being drafted by the vikings possibly like hypothetically and this might be a hint to it and i think that this is a big possibility for the vikings as you can draft a young stud quarterback who has huge potential and then become a starter after sitting behind kirk cousins four year and learning developing really getting that accuracy down so he can perform at a high level in the NFL, which I think Will Levis can, but I think he needs the right situation, which he has the best receiver in football, one of the best tight ends in football, a great running back in Dalvin Cook, who is still here as of right now. I'm making this video on March 27th. And then you have the other option where I've been seeing this around like Twitter, Instagram. This is not official. like It's like just a rumor, but the possibility of making a big move in the 2024 draft. And a name that comes up or makes some moves, possibly a name that comes up to get is Caleb Williams, for example, which I don't think will happen as he's going to be the number one overall pick. I believe if he plays like he did last year and he is worth the number one overall pick. But the one of the possibilities is trading into the top five to get a Caleb Williams. And hopefully we're not that bad, but one of the possibilities is trading Kirk Cousins. And I've been seeing that around. Now, if the trade was going to happen, I think we'd get a 2024 first-round pick, 2024 second-round pick, um, 2025 second-round pick, and a sixth-round pick. Um, I am just threw some name, uh, some years in there just to – I think Kirk Cousins would be, th- would, be, w- would be worth a huge haul as he's still relatively getting better and he's in his prime with the Vikings. But I think really Justin Jefferson makes him extremely good. But I don't know how he do on a different team, but I think – I think the Vikings could get that for Kirk Cousins. And then I really think it's key for the Vikings to be able to develop a quarterback and not rush him into anything. So it would be ideal to, to keep Kirk Cousins as a mentor quarterback for a year after drafting quarterback, really get him to learn, learn the system, learn the play action, just get ready like to be a starter before throwing him into this huge 
I'm not gonna call it a mess, but this mess of being the starter NFL of being a starting NFL quarterback and not having Phil Rush, having but letting him have him feel time to develop and really get a feel for the game. I know this not my, this might not be the case, but I think my top two prospects are Will Levis and uh, Caleb Williams, who I'd love to have, but I don't think we will get him because <laughs> he's going to be a number one of our pick, top five pick, and I don't think the Vikings will be that bad. But if we are that bad, I'd love to get him. Anyway, hope we're not because I don't, I don't want to be watch a 3-14 and 14 season. But anyway, on the other hand, this, this this is all speculation, and it's probably not going to happen. But it's just fun to think about what would happen. Now, the reality is, though, Kirk Cousins will probably not be back in 2024. This is his last season as Viking, most possibly. This will be his last year in Minnesota. And I think we just got to enjoy Kirk Cousins while we can because we don't know what the cor- what the future of quarterback will here, here would look like. And I think we got to take, a gr- we gotta take a time to appreciate how great of a quarterback Cousins has been. He's been taking hits, he's been getting battered, he's been making plays. It's just we haven't been able to win playoff games. And I know he's only had one playoff win, but I think people hate on Kirk O too much. I really love Kirk Cousins as he is one of my favorite quarterbacks in the league because I'm a biased Vikings man. I still love Kirk, though. Anyway, this is All Eyes North. I'm Preston Johnson. Um, hope, you all like, hope you guys enjoy, enjoy this video. I'll catch you guys in the next video. See you. Anthony Lopez, round two. Curtis, the marshal, he scores!